Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll be doing them by individual signs with male, female, separate readings. Let's see what you guys got going on. We'll start with Taurus. Got Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do I got going on in love today? Taurus. All right, Taurus, you guys have a change in the wind. This is a much welcome change, though, I think, Taurus. You've been waiting for quite some time for things to change. Your energy is the Knight of Swords. Your person is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Advice is the Prince of Wands and potential outcome of the day is the Ten of Pentacles or Six of Pentacles. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, Taurus males, you got some you got some truth coming in pretty quick here. Let's see what this is all about. Making a quick decision, deciding you've had enough. Let's see, why is the Prince of Swords here for male Taurus? The Eight of Wands. All right. Yeah, so very quick communication coming in. Maybe um, speaking before you had a chance to think. Like, speaking before you think what you're going to say. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. So you are just rushing in. Um, speaking from the heart. Speaking with a lot of passion. But not putting a lot of thought into it before you're speaking this is very quick communication text message could be sending a text message to somebody and then after you send it you're like oops maybe i shouldn't have sent that type of energy the person you're dealing with is the eight of swords they're no longer feeling stuck in this situation no longer feeling like there's no way out they're seeing it's like they're not they're not letting their thoughts get in the way of their actions. They put a lot of time and effort and thought into this, um, into this moving forward. Spirit's advice is to follow your passion, is to um, move forward in, in whatever direction um, brings you happiness. Could be with a Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So could most definitely be with a Capricorn, but this is um, finding that healthy balance. Um, don't let one aspect of it control the relationship. Don't let just sex, you know, determine your choice. Don't let your thoughts just determine your choice. Don't let your passion do what is best for you. And that's what's truly going to bring you balance, um, Taurus males, with temperance and the eight of swords. So, yeah, there was, a, there was an imbalance here, um, but it is coming into that equal give and take. You could have been giving a lot more than what this person is, Taurus males, because they felt stuck. Um, but they're no longer feeling like that. They're going to start investing in this connection. Do what feels good to you. Do what nurtures your soul. Um, because balance is coming and they are getting out of that feeling stuck. There is a huge change in the wind. I don't feel it's a change in relationship, but there is going to be a change in the dynamics of the connection. Taurus females. This is Prince of Swords for our Taurus females. Thank you. The Hermit. So you spent a lot of time thinking about what it is that you want to say to this person. Bottom of the deck is the Devil. So you've taken a lot of time. You're coming in with very quick communication, Taurus females, but it's not something that you haven't practiced in your head a million times. Um, this person could have felt trapped by this connection. Why is the Eight of Swords here in reverse? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, 
this could be an ex of yours. They're, they're no longer feeling stuck. They're following their heart, following their passion. I do feel for this, for females, Taurus females, the change in the wind is that you have, you have walked away from this person. You cut ties with a Virgo for some of you. Um, and that person is moving towards a fire sign. Yeah, this is going to bring healing. This person could have stepped out on their connection from you with the Nine of Swords. Um, this, yeah, yeah. This person was holding back from you, Taurus females. Most definitely. They were feeling trapped. They weren't giving you the love you deserved. There is healing coming from this situation. You or them could have stepped out on the connection. But this is something you already know about. You're going into um, some, some time of contemplation, thinking, soul di <clears throat> diving soul deep to heal those hurts. Um, and that is, your, uh, that is your advice for the day. You are going to find balance when this connection is um, cut free of the toxicity. You are seeking justice. There is, for some of you, the division of money because of a divorce. It is going to be final, um, shedding that toxic energy from your um, from your air from your space. Hearing that wake up call, finding joy in life again because you do have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male coming in your direction um, within the next three weeks, and that's the change you're going to start to see. You're going to start to feel better um, now that you're purging that um, karmic energy that you. Had to go through with that person that you guys have just recently split from. All right, Taurus Virgos. Let's see what our Virgos have in store today. Virgo. All right, Virgos, you have co create. So, bottom of the deck is Treasure Island. So, you're Coming together with somebody to build a new life for the, for a lot of you. Co-creating with the universe, co-creating with a partner. Let's see what our Virgos have going on in love today. You could have an owl as a spirit animal too for some of you. Virgos. All right, your energy is the Six of Cups. Dealing with somebody of your past. The person you are dealing with is the Empress. That did come out in reverse. Genie. Yeah. The Chariot is your advice and potential outcome. is the three of wands all right virgos we'll start with the virgo male so you could be thinking of your children today you could be um, thinking of memories of your childhood you could be dealing with somebody that you're married to from your childhood that you've known since childhood um, with the empress in reverse in their energy i do feel this is a split um the co-create could be co-parenting um, because you do have the Six of Cups there. Why is the Six of Cups here for a Virgo men? The Six of Pentacles. Wow, look at that. Finding balance in your life again. Trying to balance out um, your new life with children, um, co-parenting with the other person, trying to find that balance. Um, for some of you, your finances are finally coming into balance. For some of you, you're divorcing and you're splitting custody and your assets um, with this other person, then co-parenting with them as well. Why is the Empress here in reverse for their person? This is the mother of your children um, that came in in reverse. Yeah, the Prince of Wands. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> with the Empress in reverse, um, there could either you or your person, Virgo, uh, could have stepped out of this connection but the passion just isn't wasn't there anymore yeah so the passion just wasn't there for the two of you i do feel you're coming to this like civil 
agreement though with the chariot your your advice is to move forward to move on could be moving towards a sagittarius or a cancer here um but you have the protection of the universe um allow that to bring you to the star card the healing card the chariot always leaves the tower and heads towards star for healing yeah it's time to move past the hurt the pain and release the past move forward um, open up communication because your blessings are coming in. You have big things coming in for you, um, but you have to make the choice to consciously leave behind the hurt, the pain of this past relationship that did not work out um, for you Virgo males. Yeah, you're very defensive. You're very on guard. Um, it's time to make the choice to leave the pain behind, head towards that healing, and that's when you'll find that balance. So today is a good day to um, to begin that healing process, to take that first step towards walking towards that healing energy because somebody could be waiting for you um, for the past three years, three months, um, but you do have blessings coming in once you release that pain. All right, our Virgo females, you are in your feels today. You're deep in your memories. You're deep in your feelings, um, thinking of good times with somebody of your past. Um, the person you are dealing with, they could be leaving a spouse coming towards you um, or vice versa, but um, there's been a lot of patience with this situation, um, but things are coming to an end of a cycle for your person, Virgo females. This is going to move forward together. Whoever this is that you were waiting on or they were waiting on you, this is now moving forward very quickly. Um, yeah, with the Two of Pentacles coming into balance, going with the flow of the universe. Um, just letting the universe guide you and take you where you need to be. Um, the dance of change is going to bring you to a very um, beautiful place where you will have something coming in in the next three days, in the next three weeks. Um, you have big blessings coming in and a reconciliation with whoever this is. Yeah, talk about big things, big opportunities, big blessings. There's a new opportunity coming in for you where, oops, that was a magician on the bottom, where you get to co-create with somebody and um, really have an opportunity to, for some of you, you'll be traveling the world um, once all these, you know, travel bans get lifted, but this is really coming full circle. The two of you are going to start a business together for this group of you that I see, but you just need to learn to go with the flow today. This is just one day's energy, so don't get too hung up on it, but allow things to come and go as they want to flow, Virgo females. All right, Capricorns. What do you got going on in love today? You have never-ending story. Bottom of the deck is round and round. Look at that. So... You're at the end of a cycle here, um, Capricorns, but it seems like you're right back where you were last time. You may have a different person this time, but it seems like it's the same cycle. Um, you're coming out of a karmic, um, a current karmic cycle where you need to take what you need from that situation, that lesson, and begin to heal from it. What what is the point of this cycle? What why do I have to keep repeating it? There's something that you're not taking with out of it and learning from Capricorns. The person you're dealing with is the Empress. Spirit oh that's way too many. Let me get my cards here back together. Advice for you today is the Ace of Cups. Beautiful energy. That's that self-love. The outcome of the day is the Five of Wands. Okay, so Capricorns, men, you're needing to decipher the truth from, like, fact from fiction. Um, you could be getting hung up for some reason on something that's not even necessarily true that doesn't, it's like getting hung up on one of those little details that really doesn't, in the big scheme of things, uh, make much difference. I don't know why I, I'm inclined to say that, but 
magician. Yeah, you are dealing with somebody who is trying to play like mind games with you. Um, you need to heal from that. You need to allow, allow your mind, body, and soul to take the time to heal because jumping into the next relationship is not going to um, change your story here. You could be dealing with the mother of your children or your mother. Let's get one more for the Six of Cups. What is this? The Chariot. Yeah, moving forward, moving on from, from somebody in your life who is very manipulative emotionally and mentally. Um, for some of you, it's your mother. For some of you, it's the mother of your children. But Spirit's advice is to indulge in self-love. Um, you must have the love of one before you can give the love to another. And that one has to start with you. So you're encouraged today, Capricorn males, to take the time to um, get some R&R &R and, and have that self-love. Yeah, love and nurture yourself, most definitely. You are dealing with a mother figure um, or the mother of your children. Why is this five of wands here? A lot of outside people in your relationship, the world. Yeah, this is coming to an end. If you focus on yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself, ignore all those people that are in your business, your whole world is going to change. It's going to come out of this conflict. There are way too many people in your business right now, and it's never ending. Unless you put a stop to it, Capricorn men, it's going to continue to be like this. For a lot of you, it's your mother. Um, there is a new beginning on its way, but you have to break free from this manipulative energy, Capricorn men. Or it's going to be the same thing over and over and over. All right, Capricorn females. Why is the Four of Swords here? All right, death. So you're um, healing from a relationship that has ended um, where they weren't giving you enough time or effort or emotions. Um, you are you are healing from this. For a lot of you, they um, walked away from this connection. Um, there could have been somebody else, but if there was, you already know about this. Um, it's time for you just to heal because you can't move on and and give that love if you don't heal from this. It's just going to keep repeating its cycles. There are way there's way too much conflict. Spirit's advice is to ignore all the extra people in the situation and focus on you. Focus on yourself. That love of self. Heal your heart. Heal your mind hear your soul and you can only do that with the truth and once you do that all the outside conflict all the competition will subside and you will be able to move forward offering your love to somebody else but today's main focus is that self-love for you Capricorns um, I do see a water sign coming in for you Capricorn females but you have to release this pain um, before it's going to move in move towards that next level you do have a lot of people wanting your attention vying for your attention but most definitely you have to focus on allowing this relationship to come to an end um, and heal from it in the way that's necessary so you can move towards a healthy relationship capricorn females all right earth signs i hope you guys have a beautiful day i'll see you tomorrow god bless